What's up you guys, Solo here. We are one Smash DLC away from a full roster. That's right, we are almost there. And with the introduction of Kazuya, uh, we're starting to notice a little bit of a trend here. These characters are really strong. <laughs> so I figured it might be interesting here to break them up into a little bit of a tier list. That's right, everybody. This is going to be my Smash Ultimate All DLC so far tier list. And I might have some opinions here that look interesting, that might like defy the common wisdom. Well, I have my own opinions that might not agree with your favorite top player. Uh, and they might not agree with you and that's fine. That's what the comments are for. You know, don't cuss me out, but I'd love to hear your opinions, what you think, maybe where you agree and disagree. Leave a comment. It's all about discussion. Also, since some characters came out more recently than others, I just want to mention that this is where I think they will end up falling eventually. So like Kazuya only came out about a month ago, a little bit less. He's a very complicated character who's going to have a very interesting meta development, I think. So this is like, say, a year from now, I think, when these characters have been figured out to the point where they don't get to cheese on matchup knowledge and the people who play them have figured out how to play them optimally. So let's check it out. By the way, here's a picture of my dog. She got a new giant ball. And if you want to see more pictures like this, join the Discord down in the description. We got all sorts of events there, as well as a Pet Picks channel, so you can keep updated in all things Daisy. So first things first, uh, we should go in release order here. So we've got Joker, very clearly top tier. Honestly, a lot of people are saying he's the best character in the game. I don't disagree with them. This character is incredibly good. I'm not saying he's the best character in the game, but he is definitely a contender for the best Smash Ultimate DLC, being a top tier. There's not really a single pro player or person who knows what they're talking about who does not put this character in at least top five. So definitely a reasonable take. And shoot, this one's not going to work because I don't have Piranha playing on here. Okay, I found another list here and I actually really like the art. I don't know if this is from the murals or what, but it's pretty cool. So first up was actually Piranha Plant, which a lot of people don't consider to be a very good character. I'm going to drop him right here in mid tier. I think he definitely has some strengths that a lot of characters in low tier do not have. He's a lot better than, say, Ganondorf, for example. He has some interesting gimmicks that sort of make him able to compete at a higher level than a lot of low tier characters, so I'm going to drop him here in mid tier. Now the DLC after that was Hero. Uh, Hero, a controversial character. Hero mains themselves think this character is completely broken, but most other people don't really see him that way. I think his bad frame data holds him back and having to rely on hoping to get good RNG is a little bit rough. He's definitely not a top tier or anything in my eyes, but I have come around to the fact that he might be sort of on the lower end of high tier. Definitely a decent character with some good tools, but uh, a little bit gimmicky for sure. Next DLC we have is Banjo, uh, sort of like Plant where he's very gimmicky, doesn't really have a lot of very clear strengths. He doesn't really do a lot of damage with his combos. He's sort of a call out character with a couple of really strong tools with Wonderwing. And uh, like he has two or three very good moves that kind of carry the character. Um, I don't think Banjo is that amazing, but I do think he's better than Plant. All right, next up we have Terry. Terry, a very good character. I don't think he quite makes the break into top tier like some people are saying. Uh, I actually think Ken is a better character by uh, the slimmest of margins because Ken has focus and Terry does not. I think focus is a really good, really underrated tool. And I think Ken and Ryu sort of have more space to grow than Terry because their kits are a little bit more complicated. But I do think Terry is a very good character, very solid moves, very safe and uh, does deserve this high tier placement. His recovery also holds him back a little bit, being somewhat reactable and edge guardable. Next up, we have Byleth, another mid-tier character. I would say probably a little bit better than Banjo. They're kind of around the same spot though, um, and Plant with a little bit below them. Uh, I think having that big of a disjoint and that kind of kill power, you can't be low tier per se. I mean, Ganon's kind of there, but the problem is he doesn't have the huge disjoint on all his moves like Byleth does, so he's not able to control space as well. And also Byleth has a more viable recovery than Ganon, so that helps a lot there too. So Byleth's gonna be sitting towards the top of mid tier, but definitely not the best character by any stretch. After that, uh, Fox, are you DLC now? I mean, sometimes he looks like DLC the way Light plays him, but, uh, but next up we have Min Min, absolutely a top tier character. Is she as good as Joker? I would say probably not quite. I think she has a couple of polarizing matchups, kind of like the Diddy Kong problem, right? Where She's clearly insane, has a million really good tools. Then there's a couple matchups that maybe give her a little bit of trouble, especially with that sort of iffy recovery. Uh, characters that can edge guard her well can hold her down from being like a top five character in my opinion, but she's definitely in top tier. Steve, this is the most interesting one to me because when he first came out, I thought he was garbage. I thought this was a low tier character. He was slow, he had a pretty bad grab. His combo game didn't look too ridiculous at first, 
very quickly proven wrong on that one. And he relied on resources, which I thought was going to hold him back in a very big way that it didn't end up doing. I said from the very start, this character is bad unless enough broken crap is found to bring him up. And unfortunately, a lot of broken crap has been found. So Steve is going to be sitting here at the top of high tier. Maybe just starting to breast the bottom of top tier. But uh, this is a very, very good character for sure. We've seen players like Dee Dee. Uh, and then in the region of Georgia, which is sort of my home region, we've got Fallen. Jake hasn't been to too much offline, but when he did, he did really well at Infinity Con. I think it's pretty obvious that Steve is a very good character at this point, and uh, I can't deny it any longer. Pikachu's DLC now? I mean, that makes sense. All right, now my first hot take. Uh, Sephiroth. A lot of people think this character is just busted, broken, and I don't see it, man. I mean, he's, he's clearly good. He's better than I thought he was when he first came out, but... This character is majorly limited by having to rely on one wing to get kills and things like that. Uh, his frame data kind of sucks. He's not fast unless he has one wing. He becomes a super good character when he does have wing, but when he doesn't have it, I think he's really crap. So uh, I'm gonna put him like around here. He's better than Hero. Uh, I don't think he's, he's around the same level as Terry, right? Where they're both very solid characters with some really good tools but I don't think his weaknesses are overcomable enough to put him in the top tier. This is a super hot take, I know, I'm sorry. I'm just not a Sephiroth believer yet. I'll believe it when I see it, when someone's winning a major with him. And it's super obvious how broken it is. I'm open to changing my mind, but right now I still don't see Sephiroth as this super broken top tier that a lot of people seem to. Next up, we have Pyra Mithra. They're on here separately, but I'll just put them next to each other. This character is broken. I don't think quite as good as Min Min and Joker, but I think that with the speed of uh, Mithra, she's just a super safe, super mashy character with really good combos who can swap to Pyro when she wants to cheese people. I don't know, man. This character is just very clearly good. Like all the staples of a top tier there. Fast, big disjoints, safe moves, and a decent combo game with really good juggles. Some of the really broken stuff with her air dodge, I don't remember what it's called, man, some dumb anime crap. But with that feature to her, she kind of has like a Smash 4 Bayonetta air dodge, and I think that that's going to get refined to the point where she kind of craps on multi-hit characters and other characters she can read. So yeah, I feel very comfortable putting Pyramithra in top tier. This is not individual, by the way. I do not think Pyra would be in top tier by herself. Mithra, maybe. Uh, those are the two of them combined. I just only have the one image. All right, time for the hot take of the century. Kazuya. This character, dude, I thought he was bad. It was kind of a Steve situation where I said, he has some clear weaknesses. He's very easy to juggle. He's kind of slow on the ground. Has a frame six jump squat, which is pretty limiting. I think it's frame six. It's really slow, whatever it is. Uh, and his recovery is somewhat linear. All of these things are true. He has a bunch of very clear weaknesses. However, this character can touch of death you off of anything. And it's been less than a month. It's like playing against Luigi. But with decent movement, with his crazy wave dash crap he's got going on, he has insane invulnerability on like all of his moves. And I think once this character is more optimized, we're gonna see a very clear top tier out of Kazuya. I actually think he might end up being better than all of these characters. He might even end up being better than Joker, man. The sky's the limit with a character this complicated. You never really know what could happen. I know that that's an absolutely insane take and very different from what I was saying about him on day one. But honestly, like, this is where my head's at right now after playing against a good Kazuya yesterday and sort of getting a feel for what they're doing after just... I think it hasn't even been a month that this character's out and he's already breaking the game in some big ways. So I am very afraid of the future of Kazuya and I think the rest of you guys should be too. Uh, and I think this character's going to end up being top tier by the time things are over. And I think he might actually be the best FGC character, which is insane. I never thought I'd say that. You know, he didn't seem good at all to me when he first came out. All right, and that's going to be all the Smash Ultimate DLC. I don't think they've dropped any low tiers. Kind of weird, because they dropped the best one first. Well, okay, they dropped Piranha Plant first, the worst one. Honestly, these three could all be kind of interchangeable down here in mid-tier. I don't really care. Uh, but then they dropped the best DLC character. And then after that, they've like slowly been working their way up, and then the last few characters have mostly been broken as hell. So it's going to be really interesting if this last character just completely breaks the game or not. Uh, but either way, thanks for watching, guys. This has been really interesting to make. Kind of trip down Smash DLC lane. By the way, if you're wondering which of these I was most excited for, it was Banjo, because I loved the game as a kid, and he is so boring and unfun to play to me. So that was disappointing, and none of these DLC characters really struck my fancy in the same way. Uh, so not playing any of the broken DLC characters. For me, I'm sticking with Ike, but this is my opinion of all of them anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. By the way, leave a subscription if you enjoy content like this. And you want to see a huge variety of cool stuff that I do. Uh, I also have a Twitch stream. Check that out as well. Thanks, guys.